Welcome back everyone to Anointed to Bling. It's your girl Rain here with another installment of my wedding vlog series. Today I'm going to be talking about how I made these absolutely stunning 36 inch vases using all Dollar Tree items. Cost me six bucks to make and they're absolutely fabulous. The initial inspiration came from this vase that I saw on eBay. I was looking for something like this, um, a little bit high. These are 24 inches. They had a set of 12 for $153, not bad, except they don't ship. So I would have had to drive six hours to Los Angeles to pick them up. So I decided to play around with some Dollar Tree items I had on hand to see what I could come up with myself. You wanna see how I did it? Stay tuned. So let's get started. Take a deep breath because what you are seeing is a mock-up. This is not glued together at all. I literally stacked these freehand. There is nothing holding this up but prayers and the total grace of God and gravity. Thank you, Lord. It was my friend. It was my fiance's idea to add these balls. He'd seen me make a couple of other projects before and thought that in order to give it extra height and elegance, that would work. So taking his word for it, I decided to try it out and just stack these. Absolutely crazy, I know. But this actually didn't topple over and it was more sturdy then I initially gave it credit for it. Now I'll show you a little bit later as I walk you through how to make these, um, how I secured it using an octagonal mirror to give it a stronger base. But this worked out perfectly. I didn't have an arrangement, but I threw a six inch kissing ball on top of it just to see the visual of what this might look like and created a little bit shorter one without those balls that I'm also inspired to make to go along with this as centerpieces on my tables. Now the original vase was clear, so you'll note that I spray painted mine black. Some people choose to use acrylic paint to coat the glasses, it works, but I spray painted the inside of these to keep the shine of the glass on the outside and it worked out perfectly, gave me a nice even coat. But that is enough chit chat about the mock-up, let's go ahead and look at how I made these. Here we go. So foundation is key. I started with building my balls. I'm using the E6000 to put these together. It keeps these really sturdy. These adhere to that glue really, really well. You can also use the epoxy, but I'm just going around these edges, making sure I get enough of a coat to adhere these together. And you want to watch them because sometimes they have a tendency to slide. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you take your time, glue them together and make sure that they're not sliding. Then I'm taking that same E6000. You can also use your epox epoxy. And I'm just adhering a leg to <coughs> one side of those balls and using my uh, leveler that I got from the Dollar Tree to make sure that these are even. That's critical. You do not want a crooked arrangement. You'll be heartbroken. So I'm leveling these out. And then the next step is I'm taking that E6000. Uh, again, you can use your epoxy and I'm just... Um, edging the rim of that glass and I'm creating the base I told you about with this octagonal mirror that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Here I'm taking the epoxy because now I'm ready to build. Now normally I would mix this in the bowl 
but I'm doing this directly on the glass because you only need just a little bit. I'm gonna mix it directly on top of the glass and I'm going to build now using those balls and legs upward. The epoxy is good for this because it holds permanently. You're not gonna have to worry about things breaking. Sometimes when you build up high with the E6000, things do tend to come apart. So for this, this high, I'm not using the E6000 mixed with the hot glue. The epoxy is the best option. And I'm just building this up to create that vase that you saw a little bit earlier. Now for some decoration, I went ahead and pre-cut some strips, about four strips wide, and I'm just gonna use this bling wrap, which you can also get at the Dollar Tree, to just wrap around the center of those balls to give it some additional decoration and to sort of hide that seam where the two balls come apart. You certainly don't have to do that, but I definitely wanted to. And just a note here, you wanna make sure that you're gluing these on straight. When you're gluing on a circular structure, sometimes things look straighter than they are. So you wanna take your time running that hot glue and making sure. I noticed that I got a little of these crooked, that bling wrap is very flexible. So as you're stretching it, sometimes it bends. So there's a couple of spots where I have to go back and take it up and do it again, forgive that. But I just wanted to give these a little extra decoration. If it's too thick, you can cut these down to about three and use a, a three st uh, strip decoration instead of the four. I liked it a little bit wider. And then what I'm doing is taking just one strip, um, didn't pre-cut these, I had some extras left over, and I'm just running along the seam of where those two candle holders meet and I'm taking that bling and just covering up that seam. I think it gives a little bit of extra decoration and also camouflages uh, that seam where you did the work. It's not really, really noticeable on this project, but I'm just picky and I think most people are, so it's definitely good to just go around with that bling wrap and hide that seam. Here we are at the finished product. Look at how stunning these vases came out. This is absolutely elegant. Who would have thought Dollar Tree items would create something this glamorous, this tall, and this sturdy, I might add. Absolutely amazing. In my opinion, this is much better than my initial inspiration. Imagine these flanking that aisle with beautiful eight to 10 inch arrangements in the top, sitting on those tables nice and high. This is going to be stunning, sitting on top of mirror pillars that I'm making. I made the ones that these are on. There's a tutorial coming for that as well, so stay tuned. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you will make this product, whether it be for your event or your home. And if you like us, hit like, give me some love, leave a comment, subscribe to the page, share me with a friend. Thanks for walking this journey with me. And as always, be blessed. Until next time, see you soon.